Come on, please. There's a good one. All right, folks. There's your nice bass right on the spinnerbait. Good, he smoked it too. This is the middle of the day, guys. Middle of the day. Look how pretty that fish is. Hey guys, Scott Patton here, out here on Uncle Toby this morning. Gonna, they've been catching some crappie in some of these canals and stuff. So uh, we're gonna try to catch some mess of crappie here for a little bit. And uh, then we're gonna go out and do some bass fishing. But we love to eat these things. So uh, I got a buddy of mine has been catching some over here, so we're gonna give it a shot ourselves. So let's see what we can do. There's a good little slab right there. Good crappie. Some real nice crappie fishing here on Oak. Show you guys, any of you crappie fishermen, if you don't know about it, come there and catch some real nice slabs down here. Put them in a box and we can keep on fishing. Alright guys, just caught another one. My wife just caught a nice one and uh, found a little spot. We actually saw a dick on herring back there get a big old crappie and he couldn't even eat it. I'm going to get a pars on this. So we pulled in here, picked up a crappie rods and caught two real fast. And thanks to that herring right back there, we found this little mess. Alright, good deal. Don't throw them in a box. We're going to fish for these crappies just a little bit guys. We love to eat these things since like a lot of you. So uh, we'll take advantage of it. All right, guys, there's another one. We didn't get that one on film, but uh, another little little keeper, just a little over 10 inches. They all gonna be good in the skillet, though. Throw some tartar sauce on them. All right, guys, there's another one. Get these poles down if they will. Drift into our cover there. Good little fish. I don't know if he's gonna measure. We're checking right here. Gonna be close. Nope. Uh, boy, I tell you what. He's gonna. We're gonna throw him back. He's just. I think he's just a tad shy. Pretty fish. Keep on catching my little white jig, guys. Down here in Florida, you can come down here and do your little crappie fishing too. It's a lot of fun. Like I said, it's good eating. Get this tangled up now. All right, keep moving. I know. Oh, they need to get bigger instead of smaller. He hit it good though. We're still out here in the middle of the day, guys. 
it's get, get better as the sun starts going down. It's 1230. I don't think it'll measure, but we're gonna double check them. Nah, he's 11 inch. Pretty fish, so we don't even grow up. <clears throat> Sometimes I have people complain about not catching the big ones. Well, I'll look at it. Even though you're still getting bit by them little ones, they keep you on your toes, keep you aware. That way when that big one does bite, you're gonna get him in the boat. That's the way I look at it. All right, my camera girl's got me all tangled up my pole here. <laughs> So you hit that spinnerbait wanting it pretty fast. It's the middle of the day, but not no giant fish. Good aggressive bite though. Hit that old homemade spinnerbait of mine. All right, and let them go. Out here in the middle of the day, hopefully later in the day they'll probably get better. Scouting around, scouting around guys. Nice fish here. Nice one there. Oh yeah. Come on, fish. Ooh, nice one. Oh, yeah. Come on, fish. All right. There's a good one. All right, folks. There's your nice bass right on spinnerbait. Good, he smoked it too. This is the middle of the day, guys. Middle of the day. Look how pretty that fish is. Good fish. Tell me that fish didn't eat that spinnerbait. Just three eighths ounce spinnerbait. This, this half ounce I'm actually throwing. They're wanting her on top of the water is what they're throwing. It's good fish, good fish. Now we're gonna let her go. Pretty fish, you guys, look at that. All right, let's let her go. Pretty fish, right there. There she goes. All right. Out here guys, scouting around for you. You guys coming out here wanting to fish with me. Like I said, it's the middle of the day, dead slick out here. Caught several on the spinnerbait already. Gonna keep on fishing. I can't wait till the sun starts going down. Wish we get a little bit of chop, but it's what we got today and we're gonna keep fishing. All right guys, we're gonna call it a wrap today. Beautiful area, you can see all the lily pads and stuff out here, eel grass, it's beautiful. But uh, caught three or four on bass, lost two or three, I mean on spinnerbait, lost two or three. I'm out here scouting, guys. That's one of the things about being a guide is I'm always fishing new water. I don't really get to go back and uh, hit the places I save because I save them for my customers. But uh, we're going to be back out here tomorrow. We had uh, got a good mess of crappie today, too. Dining up, catching several while I was bass fishing. But it was fun. And I uh, had a good day out here. Dead slick out here all day. You know, I threw a spinnerbait. You know, I'd rather flip down here, but I threw a spinnerbait and swim jig some just because I want to cover water. The fish we caught today was on a half ounce uh, spinnerbait that I make, just white basically, and uh, just throwing around the edge of the reeds and the uh, lily pads seemed to be where they were at. But, you know, the bites I got, even though it was middle of the day because we crappie fished this morning, the bites I got were real aggressive, good bites. So uh, we're going to take it in because we're going to be out here at daylight tomorrow and uh, we got to get everything tied up, clean these crappie and cook some supper and get ready for tomorrow hey guys i appreciate you uh, watching please subscribe leave a comment let me know how you're fishing if you're catching any fish or not follow along and uh, we'll see you tomorrow out here